now I come back and I realize that I was a very fortunate person to be part of that and be kissed by those people that were high, highly placed at that time. Andre Avinov. Avinov. We used to say Avinov. And uh, all of the, the um, un, unexpressed and unrecognized at that time genius that was happening on behind the scenes where students were able to take advantage of these things and were made assistants and, and helpers in the, the uh, whole um, student body becoming aware of what's happening at University of Pittsburgh. But it was exciting and very um, challenging for me. Yes, I met him. Oh, wow. Could you I met him, yes. Speak a bit about yes, that. Yes, and he would come um, quietly into the university at odd hours and uh, claiming and uh, making sure that the, all of these things that were happening that connected with the rooms in the most, sometimes the most unique way, were up to snuff and, and were were going to represent the very best that he had to offer and the, that um, Chancellor Bowman wanted. And um, it, was, it was a wonderful early time to be connected with, with this uh, University of Pittsburgh uh, rose that was <laughs> blooming and, and uh, becoming important. What he well, wore. he was a very quiet man, and he was very um, inside himself. He knew what he wanted. He knew exactly what he was talking about and, and hoping for. And it was not a uh, social um, event to meet him and to chat a little bit about what he was, his efforts were. And, um, we wished that there was a, a better way of understanding that, but he was very, very private and um, had his own his own rhythm of getting into it. And because at this time he uh, was looking for funding for the rooms, and he looked to all of the <coughs> um, groups in Pittsburgh that were uh, culturally oriented to collect and, and uh, to be part of it. It was, a, it was a, a tremendous effort on his part to get that to happen. And the little small groups from each, each uh, culture did that. And they collected, the children raised money, the, the adults, and um, it was it was a wonderful um, a Pittsburgh city effort, not just a small group. And one one individual on a sort of with a with a vision or a, or some knowledge, one and but by making a community, a whole community, a whole city, a city that was filled with different um, nationality groups having their own life and having their own churches, their own events, and suddenly becoming internationally famous in a way that Avinov put it together there at the university. Okay. Well, it was his dream and how he started it and got it going. Um, he would, every day when he was out in the the um, natural environment, he would have something that he was planning f to use in the university, in the development, in the, in the um, museums, in that part. And he would get something together and then spend all evening doing the drawing for it and drawing the, the, the um, early um, pictures of this, this early 
stuff that he was so inspired about. And he was inspired about every group, every um, cultural group that was actually functioning in Pittsburgh. And I'm, I'm very uh, grateful for his help and for the help that I was unconscious um, of during those years when I was at Pitt. Oh, well, I was there for four years during my um, undergraduate work. And, um, of course, before that, I knew very much about it because my father was a professor at the university. And I was there all the time, off hours, between classes, and, and I felt like I owned the place. <laughs> and it was... Uh, a very, a very exciting time for everybody that was involved in it. Well, it was um, people coming from other countries and, and other cultures and uh, re, um, <clears throat> reclaiming their part in this tremendous university that had been erected. And, um, um, because Chancellor Bowman had been um, a young man at the time that uh, Harvard had been um, put together and had been excited about the, the connection between the, the new thinking and the traditional thinking, he, he carried it, he was carrying it forward. And it was a very exciting time. And um, all of the things that people just took for granted and thought this is just what an, a university does, didn't realize what a, a uh, unique and, and unduplicated effort there was happening there at, at uh, Pitt. I remember <coughs> Chancellor Bowman saying what wonderful people the Chinese people were, that he, when he um, was able to call them friends and um, uh, helpers in this work, that he understood the Chinese um, uniqueness and their expression and appreciation of this, of this actual art, wonderful art um, display, which was paid for and, and um, ex inspired at that time by people like Bowman and, and um, professors teaching the languages and, and people from Pittsburgh who um, never went on to get degrees, but took their basic work right there at the university. And the university itself was unfinished, and nothing was compare, completed uh, as he had hoped it would. But he finally um, planted a wonderful grass um, yard around this big uh, tower of, of 30 five stories uh, to make people realize that even though it was not finished inside, this had a beautiful outside and it and would be a, a place of pride for the city itself. I was, I was actually doing the, the uh, tours of the nationality rooms, speaking with um, Chancellor Bowman, uh, making sure that that this was a worldwide cause that was happening in my little uh, university um, area and how it was going to grow and claim uh, Pittsburgh as a very important site on the, the international scene of art, um, Philosophy, psychology, all of the um, 
wonderful parts of our life that we forget are, are happening. It was a very uh, formative and, and exciting time. I have met, re-met Echo and have remembered so many of the things that happened in the past. We are at the edge of a moving freight train and to me it feels like um, <clears throat> exciting time when people are changing their opinion of the University of Pittsburgh and, and um, all of this artwork that is happening. Well, this was a, a university that had not been heard of that much, but it was a, a um, excellent uh, combination of the, the um, fraternities and the sororities and the, the um, actual work that the ordinary people did and um, it, we realized that um, we weren't we were just we were actually striking out in new ways